In the tradition of Duel, Jonathan Mostow's debut feature, Breakdown, jolts you out of your seat in the first 10 minutes and then doesn't let up until the end credits. Kurt Russell plays an ordinary bloke, Jeffrey Taylor, who's driving his new red Jeep Grand Cherokee that he really couldn't afford, with wife Amy, Kathleen Quinlan, from Boston to a new job in California. After a bit of road rage exchange with the driver of a pickup, his car breaks down in the middle of the desert. A friendly truck driver, played by JT Walsh, offers to give Amy a lift to the nearest diner where she can ring for a tow truck. But when Jeff manages to get his car started, no one at the diner has seen Amy. And that's when the nightmare begins. This is dark haired, about 5'5, five five, wearing like a, a white Benetton sweater. White what? A uh, Benetton sweater. Hey, yeah. your order's up. Look, I'm pretty busy here. People come and go. Well, this is within the last half hour. Uh, Excuse me. She, she might have been with a trucker. Truck? Yeah, a guy wearing a baseball cap, uh, driving a big 18-wheeler. Doesn't ring a bell. You sure? Hey, the man here's looking for his wife. Dark hair, got a white button-on sweater. He's traveling with a guy with a baseball cap. Has anybody here seen him? Looks like she got away from you, cowboy. What's terrific about Breakdown, apart from the sheer economy of telling this thrilling tale, is that Russell is no gung-ho hero. You can tell that he's just a normal guy, not very comfortable in some circumstances. In fact, you wouldn't be surprised to see him cry at some of the rough stuff that he's forced to experience. Russell plays Jeff very effectively. Jonathan Mostow shows real flair for using the big screen to create visually exciting cinema. Doug Milson's clear, bold cinematography is a bonus, while Basil Paladouris's music throbs away, underscoring, at times a trifle heavy-handedly, the drama. As co-writer, Mostar has avoided most of the unbelievable coincidences that seem to ruin so many films of this ilk. He's even created credible motivation for the bad guys. Breakdown was an unexpected treat, a truly sweaty palm movie that you ultimately don't feel cheated by, David. No, it's pretty good. I mean, he taps into that same thing that Spielberg did in Duel, that the, the fear that many city people have of the wide open spaces yeah. and, of course, truck drivers. <laughs> yeah. Those big trucks that come yes, roaring. There are past. some similarities there visually some in, in this the, film. Yeah, and the, locate, the use of locations in the early yeah. scenes uh, is great too. I did think that just towards the end, it does go a little bit over the top. I mean, our hero has to do <laughs> oh. a few things that. Uh, well, he I has think, to do what a man's got to do. Yeah, <laughs> but I think it, it goes beyond the, 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 the realms of the reality that the rest yeah. of the film has taken a lot of trouble to, to uh, give us. But on the whole, this is such an enjoyable film, and it's so well shot for the widescreen that I'll give it four. I'm giving it four as well. Last time I saw her, she was with this guy in his truck. Officer. Now he's saying he's never seen her. Officer, I don't know what he's talking about. Don't lie, you ignorant bum! All right, all right, calm down. All right, now tell me exactly what happened, sir. Okay, all right. Our car broke down. And he stopped, offered to help, took my wife to a payphone, but she, she never showed up. Sir, what do you have to say about this? Officer, I don't know. I'm driving along. This fellow runs me off the road, starts Yo, hollering about his wife. I swear, I've never seen him before in my life. And you didn't give his wife a ride? No, sir. He's lying. 